Almost all child deaths in low-income countries are caused by three very dangerous illnesses. Pneumonia, which is a serious chest infection. Diarrhoea, which is loose stools. And malaria, which is caught from mosquito bites. This film will help you understand when your child is very ill and in need of urgent medical attention. Here's our expert to explain more. Children of all ages are at risk of severe illness which can lead to death. If you notice any of the following signs, you must immediately take your child to a health worker. The signs that you need to look for are difficulty in breathing, no interest in drinking or breastfeeding, vomiting, a dry mouth and cracked lips, very high or very low temperature, for example, does your child feel much hotter or colder than normal, pale skin, blue lips, irritable or upset behaviour, unusual sleeping patterns, unconsciousness, which is when your child cannot be woken up, fitting or violent shaking of the body and limbs or arms and legs. My baby had blue lips and I didn't know that this is a problem. The community health worker told me to go to the hospital. Uh, my daughter didn't do breastfeed. It was unusual for her, but I didn't know it was dangerous. If your child has any of these signs, you must immediately take them to a health worker. And remember, even if you think your child is ill, then you must keep giving her fluids such as breast milk or other safe fluids like cooled, boiled water. If she feels cold, wrap her so she is warm. But if she feels very hot, don't wrap her at all. So now we understand the signs of serious ill health in the child, we're ready to learn more about pneumonia. This is a very serious chest infection which makes a child cough and have difficulty breathing. The infection can spread through the body and cause the child to die. Here's our experts to explain the warning signs and symptoms of pneumonia. Check to see if your child is breathing much faster than usual or if her chest is moving inwards when she breathes, which is called sucking in. Another sign of pneumonia is nasal flaring, which is when the child breathes in and the nostrils flare outwards. You should also listen for any unusual noises your child might make when having difficulty with her breathing. Many children with pneumonia will make a noise like this when they breathe out. This is called grunting. If you hear this noise when she breathes out, take your child straight away to get medical help. Your child might make this noise if she's having breathing difficulties. This is called stridor. Or like this sound, which is called wheezing. These sounds do not always indicate pneumonia, but they are still very serious problems and you must take your child to a health worker or nearest health post at once. Now we know the signs and symptoms of pneumonia, let's learn how to treat it. Drugs called antibiotics are used to treat pneumonia and make your child well again. It is very important that you give your child the exact number of antibiotic tablets the health worker prescribes and for the exact number of days she instructs until the packet is finished. Otherwise, the pneumonia may return. And if your child's condition gets worse during or after the treatment, you must take her back to the health post. How can we reduce the risk of getting pneumonia and other breathing infections or difficulties? Let's find out more. Breastfeeding your child for as long as you can may help to reduce the risk of a child developing pneumonia. This is because the mother's milk helps improve your child's protection against many illnesses. 
Vaccinations will greatly reduce the risk of your child catching pneumonia, so please ensure she has her vaccines and immunizations on time. Washing your hands with soap and water before handling your baby, especially if you have been with another person's baby, will help prevent germs that can lead to pneumonia. Keeping your child away from people who smoke cigarettes will keep her lungs strong and healthy. And finally, try to cook outside. Or if you have to cook inside, then keep your child away from the smoke. So now we know how to check for the symptoms of pneumonia, treat the condition, and most importantly, prevent getting it in the first place. With this information, we can help keep our children in good health.